Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Spooky. Today we're going to be playing Inscription. Um, we have our stoat friend here with us. Hopefully uh, they can offer us some guidance and tell us all the ways we're playing poorly. And, uh, you know, we actually made some progress. So, um, you know, usually I come back to a game and I'm always like, oh, you know, it's been a second because, you know, I have so many games I cycle through. So I was like, oh, I'll do a warm up run, right? Well, guess what? It ended up being a winning run with all the challenges on and we unlock starting decks, which is really freaking cool. So um, we actually just made that progress. I'm sitting here kicking myself in the leg of like, why didn't I do that? So we have a new starter deck. It starts us off with a black goat, which is phenomenal for managing blood cost. And we have unlocked challenge level three. So this is actually a really good one um, in terms of like curses I was seeing because you just start with one damage. One damage is not that big of a deal and you get 20 points for it. And then you can just do like starting no hook and like no clover, right? That's not that bad. So let's go ahead and start that run. Um, I guess I didn't introduce the game. This is Inscription Casey's mod, which is the infinite, more roguelike-esque um, version. So it uh, adds a lot of mechanics, it adds new cards. Um, the stages are more or less the same, but yeah. And uh, let's see, cat and porcupine. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that. But let's see what we get here. My pelts are clean, freshly brushed too. Ooh, magpie is always wonderful. It looks like, I mean, we already have a moose buck, right? So we could go for an elk deck. Because the magpie is very tempting, but they are kind of expensive. So just for the sake of maintaining a curve, I would definitely take the fawn. And instead of taking him, I actually want the porcupine as well. Just for the, the board setup thing, you know? You have my gratitude. All right, Stoat, what should we do here? Um, you know, if I can put Mole on the Porcupine, that's actually quite good. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, we're going to put Mole on the Porcupine, and that's going to be wonderful. And then if we can, like, buff his health or get a duplicate Porcupine, we'll be set. Oh, that immediately puts us in a totem battle. Okay. They just, they block flying. That's not that big of a deal. Okay. Um, the pronghorn, so they're going to move forward and then left after they... Is that before or after? Not that one, but that one. At the end of the owner's turn. So yeah, he's going to come forward, attack, and then move. So, if I want something to kill it, I'm going to have to put it there. Which is hard because he's also going to move. You're going to move to the right. So, we actually put them facing each other and they're going to move into each other, I believe. Because, yeah, we are, we are warmed up. We are ready to go here. Plus, we got three damage. So, that's going to move over. Yeah, we take a damage, but he has seven health. So now that's addressed. We put the fawn there, so they're not in the line of fire. And now we have an elk as well. Yeah, that mm, just mwah, chef's kiss. I already I love the starting deck so much more because like the stoat and the bullfrog kind of useless. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. OK. You're very cute. If you guys haven't seen a stoat do a war dance, they have war dances. You should definitely see that. It's so cute. Um, and yeah, it legitimately like uh, it like confuses things so that they uh, don't really know what to do, and then the stoat can just walk up and eat it. It's wild. Um, I don't really want a campfire. Do I even have effects to combine right now? Not really. So. Ah, uh, 
Let's see. I think we took... I think we have a full-size backpack. Let's get a backpack item, even though that's another totem battle. We'll make it work. Okay. Uh, honestly, a one blood. Skink? Okay, I'll take it. The skink's tail can actually do some pretty incredible things. Scissors to destroy a card is pog. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of pumped, you know. I just got just got a W in. Let's see if we can keep that streak going. Um you're going to attack. I don't think you're not muscly, so you're actually going to stay in play sitting there and there. So I could put Yeah, I think we can just put the fun there and they'll be good. Oh, crap. Um, I, I, I meant to do that to block the damage, actually. That was us being optimal, so. Uh, whoops. Well, he's going to block the alpha coming in, which is nice. I guess now we put in porcupine. Sure. Honestly, yeah, that could have gone worse. And then, oh yeah, we can put in the buck now. Oh, look at that, that curve. That's so nice. All right, you move. Um, I have to remember that. There's there's a lot more kinda hoping my man's was just gonna stay right there. Um But we'll bring it back. We'll bring it back. Cause yeah, we'll keep blocking the pronghorn and then we'll just like war of attrition this, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now we'll do a random card, see what we get. Ooh, Undying is a very wonderful thing to have on a black goat. Uh, I guess, yeah, we can have the Rat King. Or Pack Rat. Yeah. Alright, we'll take that... Um, by the way, I had a uh, lovely viewer comment on my last Wizard of Legend video uh, suggesting a build. Um, I was checking it out. I don't have the stuff for it quite yet, so I'll need to play just a little bit more to get all of that ready. And then I will for sure make sure that I do the... Uh... Oh, that was kind of... Um, I will make sure that I try that build out when I get a chance, and I will make sure you get credit for it. So thank you for that. Um... Okay. Moose, buck, black, goat. Okay, okay, yeah. Now we're now we're thinking, okay? Because you're gonna hit, you're gonna move to the right, then you can kill the pronghorn next turn. Oh wait, no, the pronghorn's gonna move. Right. We'll get this. We'll get this. Don't you guys worry. Oh, you're you're gonna be like always just one step off of that guy. That's pretty funny. Okay, how many coins do I have? Two. Hey. Okay. Wow, that was that was kind of close to dying. Um. Okay. Cool. Cool. Skink there. Yes, that will work. Because now he tries to punch. He hits the tail. We still took a damage, but <laughs> we'll make it work. Um, what do we got here? Yeah, that is just fine. You know, um, okay, I hate this, okay. If you don't like teeth pulling, look away, because it's yucky. Uh, yeah, ah, so crunchy. Um, 
I want to try and shoot for a better item here. So... Oh, you can sacrifice the wriggling tail. That is... You put that on the black sheep. The black sheep copies itself, right? Ooh. Ooh, that's a potential. We got another frame squirrel in a bottle. Okay. That's fine. He's dead. He's dead. I didn't need that molar anyways. Um, how are we doing teeth? I got... Eh, like four teeth. That's not really worth it. Uh, let's go for the campfire. Well, those are not very good. Um, I guess Warren... Sure. We'll do a Warren. Um... Yeah, we'll figure out something to do there. Just the ones I wanted to see. Hello, survivors. Please don't eat my porcupine. Are we greedy? Stoat, are we greedy? Okay, okay, yeah. Fair points. We will take our porcupine and leave. Wait, how do we end up at another campfire? I wasn't even paying attention. Um, okay. Uh, let's make our moose buck stronger. Usually one, one stay at the campfire is pretty safe. So yeah, we're, we're just gonna play it safe here. Don't murder my friend. Okay, this, this freaking guy, uh, let me tell you, he kills me more than any of the other bosses ever do. Just because of his mechanic where he bonks things with his freaking pickaxe and kills your stuff. That screws me over every single time, I tell ya. So we do the smoke. We do a skink. Okay. And then we can put down a roach. Yeah. Now we can sacrifice our... Wait, no. We do that, we put down the fawn. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Now the coyote takes out the skink, which is fine. We put down the warren to block the coyote. Yep, that is also fine, because now we have the ability to keep playing. Okay, we, we didn't kill the pack mule in time, which is a little unfortunate, yeah. But we still have our cockroach. That's, uh, that's something. Okay, we've got a black goat. Yeah, get him, Bloodhound. That's not perfect, but I can work with it, I suppose. Stop giving me squirrels! What do you mean? Oh my goodness. Well, we have our moose buck. And now, the pack meal is going to move right in front, so we're actually going to get some cards this turn. Yeah, there we go, there we go. It's full of cards, my dude. Honor has nothing to do with that. Okay, we should be able to have the adder bring out the corpse maggot. Oh, well, yeah, that works too. Um, let's have the field mice come out there. I don't know what that error code was, but... There we go, we have his board cleared. You know, all of these together 
do as much damage as just the moose buck. That's interesting. There we go. Please do, please do. Here is your hydration check. Please remember to stay hydrated. I know it seems like a silly thing to harp on, but it is so important. And uh, you know what? Before we roll the hydration check, also, you know, try and keep track of that thing you need to do. Did you take your medicine, do your laundry, you know, all that kind of stuff. I am happy to try and help you stay on top of it. Because you know what? I forget too. It just, it'd be like that, you know? I love the Ouroboros. Like, if I had to pick a tattoo that, like, I, I kind of see semi-frequently, it would totally be the Ouroboros. It's just so cool, the snake infinitely eating itself. Very interesting, very interesting stuff. All right, we're going for the trap, or... What was the setup we were looking for? Ah, we haven't seen a cat. I'm trying to remember what our deck is. You know, we always have a lot of sigils. If we get Trial of Sigils... Yeah, done. We'd have to get pretty unlucky. Yeah. Ooh, all of those are, um, a beaver grizzly. Damn. Hit, <laughs> hit. Did you catch that? Damn, beaver grizzly. Sure, let's take it. Uh, do we have something we want to combine? You know, actually putting Warren on the Ouroboros would be pretty pog. Let's do that. All right, Warren, Ouroboros, because he takes two to summon, but so the thing with the Ouroboros is he gets stronger every single time he dies. So you want to summon him and kill him over and over and over as much as you can. And he gets insanely strong. So. His journey of being a martyr for us begins now. I don't like that elk being there. I can't do too much with that. Okay, we're going to put you on the opposite side of the board, and you guys will kind of work your way towards each other. Yeah. Alright, yeah, sacrificial squirrel there. Uh, that's only two so far. That's okay. That's why we have squirrels, you know? Now we're trading even... Oh, crap. No, we're not. Ooh, that was close. All right. We will take that. We'll draw here. I guess I can work with that. All right, I'm going to save the black goat for something better. Squirrel in a bottle. Okay. Well, we can put that down. And now our board is looking pretty spiffy. There we go. Okay. I'll put you there. Moose Buck goes right there. I think we're okay. Am I missing anything? Okay, okay. Yeah, clean. Clean. Mr. Clean, clean. Trying to get some extra gold teeth here if we can, right? Uh, I guess we cannot. Okay. Bummer we didn't see our Ouroboros. I uh, wanted to use it. 
Okay, what do you got for me this time? Sigils. Easy. Every single time. Yeah, done. That's, what, five sigils right there? Ooh, that's pretty good. I really like the Raven Egg. The transforming cards are a lot of fun. Um, you know, a totem buff would not hurt to have. Let's see what we can get, old lady. We don't have any bugs. We don't really have any reptiles. I don't like that effect. Yeah, I'm shaking my head too. Um, I guess we'll take that. And totem battle. Ooh, that still doesn't do anything, so that's fine. Now our Ouroboros shows up. Nice of you to drop by, Stinky. But yeah, the Warren is actually really nice. Because we can... Kind of buffer ourselves a little bit there, right? So... I swear, if it's Squirrel in a Bottle again... Okay, I maybe that's just consistently Squirrel in a Bottle. Um... But with that being the case, you know, we can just do that at least a couple times. <laughs> okay. Um, that goes there like that. Perfect. Yeah, that's a turn one pop-up. Did they just bounce back each to each other over and over until they died? That was a very interesting interaction. Okay. Yes, kill the Ouroboros, please. I'm so sad every time you do that. Here, maybe you should kill it again. Just just to be safe, huh? Um. Yeah, we'll kill him again here. Then, oh, he's back again. Ah, that's so much fun. And yeah, the health and strength stat goes up every single time. It's so good. Look at it. We are popping off. Okay, do we have any duplicates? No. No. So we don't want to see the mushroom, dude. So we'll go this way. Ooh, double strike, never a bad one to have. Usually I like just sacrificing it, but yeah. All right. You know what, with the, the dog thing, I don't entirely remember what that does, but that buffs the... Oh, actually that's not bad. Maybe? I'm changing that up when I get the chance. Yeah, there's a woodcarver up there. We're going to go for that. Wait, the goat counts as a... That, that's kind of a stretch. I guess I can see that, but that's kind of a stretch. Well, regardless, there's that. Oh, that's funny, he just like bounces around. Uh, I think you're gonna push him after the attack, right? Yeah. So right now it makes sense for you to go right there. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, no, I'm, I'm gonna let you take that hit. Oh yeah, because he's dead. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. We really need to hit a trapper area. I don't know if we're gonna see one. Ah. Oh, the bull counts, does it? I mean, 
the same cost, go with the bull. More attack power. Okay, give me something better than accidentally yeeting my deers in front of... Yeah, let's make Rudolph. There we go. Merry Christmas to all. Have a moose buck to the face. Ooh. Yeah, sign me up. Um, do we just keep juicing the moose buck? Like, th this guy's already pretty big. I mean, the fact that these guys get eaten by orcas. Moose are wild, let me tell ya. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah. And yeah, we're, we're gonna pull away. We're gonna pull away. Let's see what the trapper's got for us. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this one, but not too much. It's so cool how that's two masks in one. That's such a fascinating design. Oh, right, with the flying. Okay. Um, all right. Well, unfortunate. Eh, it, it's okay. So we'll put you there. We'll put the cockroach there because it's fine that he dies. I think that's a good turn one. Because yeah, you actually want to trigger as many of those traps as you can. Um, just for the fact that, uh, what do you call it? Sorry, my nose is like itchy. I went for a hike today. I've been kind of itchy. Um, the wolf pelts for the second phase are very important. So let's do two squirrels here, and we'll put a bull there. I don't see it being useful to put the cockroach down just yet here. Oh, that, that leather, oh, oh, crispy, okay. Okay, okay, we're actually gonna get some more pelts from our cockroach, fresh cockroach pelt. Um, I'm just questioning, oh wait, no, he's going to die and pull in the raven egg. That's actually, that's so optimal. I love it. Oh no, he's going to die pulling in the raven egg. Okay. Okay. We take what we can get, you know. Um, don't have enough for either of those. Uh, ooh, that might be awkward. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Okay. Well, not to worry here. Because we could bring in our grizzly. Sure. Why not? Oh, your, your dams upgrade into... What does that upgrade to, you think? Well, I need the cockroach to take the hit there, so... We'll see what the dam turns into. <laughs> did, I, did I see that? <laughs> I'm sorry, our, our dam turns into a goddamn... <laughs> Oh, I love how much personality this game has. Holy crap. That's wonderful. Oh, that's that's wonderful. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, we'll put our porcupine here. And uh, we're about to get a lot of really cool cards, so we just want squirrels for that. That was like optimal too. We got the maximum amount of wolf pelts you can get. Um, you might see the error log keep popping up. The game is still in kind of like a beta. 
I haven't seen them update too much lately, but, you know, life happens. Let's trade, my dude. Oh, we get to take most of your board here. Yeah, because we have five pelts, we get to take five. Well, I guess I'm taking that. I didn't know what that was. Um, honestly, that snapper is kind of rude. I don't really want to go up against it. You don't have very many fun cards here, do you? Uh, yeah, let's open up another lane. Because, yeah, now he only has those two lanes to work with. Oh, that's crispy. You know, I have not gotten to see my Ouroboros nearly as much as I'd like to have. Um, the skunk can't even attack, so they're not a problem. I guess let's put down the skink. Sure. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that had Guardian on it. Alright, we've got a Mantis. I don't entirely remember what that does, but I think it mirrors something here. Yeah, I think it like mirrors the attack. Which is pretty good. Except for the fact that it moves. That is a little exciting. Put in our roach. But yeah. GG. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Dang straight you relight my candles. Oh, consider me enticed. What's in here? I am... Ooh, Mothman. Mothman. Let's go. Yeah. Good old wetlands. You know, most of that sounds fine, right? I don't mind the... But the bugs. Bugs are cute. But, like, I... It, um... I guess I'm like kind of my my sweat is kind of salty or something. His flies love me. They love to land on my face. And I want nothing more than to just destroy them. Okay. Um enough lollygagging. What are we gonna go do that way maybe? Because I like the totem we have now, so. Oh, we could combine some things together though. We've been kind of needing that. And there's a trapper there. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We have enough money, we could probably take the knife, too. Can I say no? Can I just leave? I cannot just leave. Um, you know, the Rat King's effect is actually pretty decent. Especially... Oh, oh, oh my god, wait. Is that an infinite for the cockroach, isn't it? Yep, now the cockroach can summon itself. Mmm. La synergy. Beautiful. Yep. Alright, that's a pretty horrendous curve. I actually... I don't want to put anything down this round. Because I want to be able to take out that rattler before it's a problem. And... See what my options are to do that with. Okay. Um, I can't afford to take three damage here. So. I think putting down the mantis is still the move. Bonk bonk. Because then that also blocks that damage. Yeah. The Mantis is the move here. Uh, 
Yeah, I can take two damage. Because five ends the game. Yeah, so we're okay. Yeah, okay. Where do I want you? Probably right there, right? Not what I was hoping for, so let's take the coyote out of the picture. Man, that sucks to have to use scissors on a coyote. But this keeps us in the game. This is, this is just tough. This is very tough. That buys us a turn. That's all I can do here. That does not buy us a turn. Ah, sheesh. You know, that's okay though. Glad we still have that other candle. Because we're about to get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, hello. Yeah, we have so much money. That that almost is a countable number, thank you. I want the knife. Okay. Wait, is there a point? Because there's not the traitor anymore, right? Oh shoot, did I just put a bunch of fillers in my deck for no reason? That would be... that would be funny. Yes, hello. Um, attack up, huh? Who would that be good on? Probably a raven egg. That'd be pretty pog. You know, we could... Yeah, uh, so uh, either way, because like we need to slim down our deck a little bit, we're losing some consistency. So either way that played out was okay. Serpents have... Reflect. That's pretty stinky. That's very stinky. Um, I guess we'll do that to buy a little bit of time here. Yeah. Man, that's unfortunate. Okay, because yeah, I can't just let that go through. Oh, you're going to fly over it. Well, you can't move, so you'll take the hit. As unfortunate as that is, you're not going to take the hit. Oh my gosh. Are we going to die to misplays here? I'll be so sad. Um, I think we're dead to misplays. Oh wait, no, I can stab him. There's another one behind it! Ah, okay. Wait, we're still in it, we're still in it. We just need to stall until Mothman gets here. Which we are really pushing it on. I, I don't have anything else to use. Do I survive another turn? Maybe. Oh! No, that's it. <laughs> Rats! We had some really good synergy there, but like we ended up with so many cards that we couldn't use a lot of... I mean, I, I never saw the Ouroboros except that one time. So, well that was unfortunate. I don't want to hear it from you. Anyways, that will just about do it for this run. Um, man, I'm still kicking myself in the heel that I didn't record the other one because we just steamrolled the game. Um, but we made it really far. And, uh, yeah, that is always the fun part with roguelikes is you win some, you lose a lot more of them, honestly. And that's what makes winning satisfying. So, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful time. I hope the rest of your day goes really well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourself. I'll see you later.